According to the current U.S. drought monitor, the Texas High Plains is under a severe drought. And with that, producers are making important decisions as they're approaching planting season for summer crops. Um, many producers are having to pre-irrigate um, as well as potentially evaluate their crop selection, especially if they are under limited well capacities. However, we're very fortunate that because we did have very good early fall precipitation, in many areas we still have very good subsoil moisture. It is always important to know how much water we have in that profile because that is our bucket. And so as we consider that, it's also important to know what crops we're planting and what is the rooting depth because that will give us the ability to determine how much subsoil moisture we're going to have to help carry that crop through the cropping season, especially if we do not receive timely precipitation. Um, as we've seen under uh, no-till uh, conditions, especially where we do have residue, that subsoil moisture is much more shallower. We're looking at subsoil moisture four to six inches deep, whereas under cultivated um, conditions, generally moisture is eight to ten inches deep. So that does provide producers the ability to look at the their well capacity, you know, determine how much pre-irrigation they may need to apply if they have the ability to pre-irrigate. It also, under uh, dry land conditions, does provide the producers the ability to gauge precipitation that is in the forecast to see, well, is that going to give me enough precipitation to plant on? Because roots will not grow through dry soil to reach that wetter subsoil. And that is something that's always important to keep in mind. Even if we receive a precipitation event this next week as is forecasted, that is not going to break our drought. First, as we consider dry conditions, many producers are evaluating when they should be planting. Um, for our cotton crop, unfortunately, we don't have a lot of flexibility. We are in a very limited growing degree day region, and so it's really important that we get our cotton crop established early so that we can accumulate sufficient growing degree days to mature that crop before our early fall, earlier fall freezes. Um, that, you know, unlike farther south where they have a, a longer growing season. Um, fortunately for grain sorghum, though, um, we do have flexibility with regards to our planting date. For grain sorghum, we do see that we are able to make a very good grain sorghum crop, even planting into mid and late June. Of course, producers do need to consider the maturity class of the hybrids they plant if they are planting later. However, we are still able to have a little bit of flexibility with regards to the success of that grain sorghum crop planting later in the season. So, and of course, even for corn, while our um, while for insurance purposes, we do want to get our corn in uh, prior to um, the 1st of June. Even if we do plant into June, we do see oftentimes that we've shifted the, the period of flowering and tasseling out of some of the hotter periods of the summer. And oftentimes we'll actually see greater kernel set and sometimes benefits by planting that corn crop even later in the summer. So producers often have to evaluate um, you know, how they're managing their insurance programs with regards to their um, planting times. Uh, one of the challenges that producers may have, especially under dry land conditions, is herbicides. And are we going to have enough precipitation to acti actually activate some of our so uh, residual pre-plant herbicides? And as we move into um, summer cropping season, those early pre-plant herbicides that provide residual activity across the field are very important because we want to make sure that we minimize competition from weeds with our primary crop because weeds are using water.